Hi, it's Mike, and um, I've got uh, a really interesting blog post for you this time, something I'd like you to consider next time you go on holiday. And hear me through before you go, oh, no chance, because there might be something in it for you. Now, I've come to the Reed Palace Hotel, which is in Madeira, and uh, it's just such a super place. We've never been before. Just take a look at, at that view. That's just Funchal, which is the capital. Um, and it, it's just the most beautiful place and we're just, just absolutely thrilled with the whole thing. Now, um, those people who have um, sent me an email in the last week or so will already know that I did not bring my mobile phone on holiday. So I've had no access to emails, social media, voicemails, nothing has, has come through to me. Now, the reason I did this was that on the lead up to this holiday, we've had a pretty stressful summer, quite frankly. Uh, we've had a lot of work done in our house in Wales, and we have three sets of workmen, all trying to coordinate with each other, and the whole thing went just, just to hell in handcart. It was very stressful. We lost one of our animals, which just cut us up. And then, on top of all of that, work has been mad busy, which is no bad thing, by the way. I'm not, I'm not complaining about that, but it's put a lot of stress. I mean, I was leading up to this holiday, and I was kind of, oh man, I was in really bad shape. And, and my wife actually said, well, why don't you just have a complete rest? Leave your mobile phone at home, like you used to back in the day. Back in the 90s when I ran our business, we didn't have mobile phones. And I used to take three weeks off every summer and just leave them to it. And it just felt just absolutely brilliant. Well, let me tell you, even though for the last, I don't know, crikey, 15, 16 years, I've taken my mobile on holiday, just do an hour every day, you know, just process those emails. Um, I just feel so much better now, I've got to tell you, because every time you look at an email or a post on social media, it's not the few seconds it takes to read, it's where it sends your brain then. It sends you back to the workplace and the thousand miles distance between there and here just disappear. You're back in work. And I think it's not fair on you, because I think you need the rest, it's not fair on your family either. My wife always used to say to, to me that I was with the family but not with the family and might be gone off on one. And, and I don't think it allows you to relax deeply, you know, really get that kind of deep relaxation, re-energization that you need, particularly if you're a business owner or if you're in a stressful job like recruitment or the law. So this time around, I said to the team, well, look guys, can we, ha can we manage this? They said, yeah, no problems. So they've sorted through emails every day, um, I hope, and they've done what they can do with the emails that they got there, they've deleted them or actioned them or saved them for me to look at when I got back. But I tell you the, the outcome of this. First of all, very happy Mrs. Ames, okay, because I've been here the whole time, and I am so relaxed. Such deep relaxation and, and balance. I just feel like a million dollars. And I always bring my, uh, my uh, journal on holiday with me, and the ideas that I've got in there are much more strategic than they usually are. Normally they're kind of must remember to do this or bring so and so. None of that, these are big solid ideas, it's brilliant. It takes me back to the way I felt back in the 90s before we had these dreaded mobile phones. So my advice to you then, okay here we go, is next time you're going on a holiday, set it up with the team if you have one, so that they can handle your emails, they can interpret your phone calls, redirect your phone to someone's mobile and just see if you can have a week where you're just away from it all, see how you feel, because I promise, I promise you'll feel better for it. Okay, well look, um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, as we say in flair, if you want it, go and get it, and I'll see you next time. You take care now.